There we go. Where are you going to be in the next six months? Where's your business going to be in the next six months? That's what I'm going to talk about tonight. Do you struggle with creating success? Do you get to a point where um, uh, you start doubting yourself? Well, we're going to start talking about different things and how just you envision those those may be what your downfall is. So we're going to give you some pointers. I'm going to give you some pointers. We're not. I am. <laughs> we're going to give you some pointers tonight. There I go again. Um, and uh, hopefully we can get you back on track to make 2017 your greatest year. I'm Dave Stelma. You can find me at davestelma.com or right here at Facebook backslash Dave Stelma. Uh, and on YouTube, don't forget about YouTube. That's where you can find all the past videos also. So hang on. It's 630. It's Tuesday night. I'm Dave Stelma and I coach, mentor, and help uh, create your breakthrough success. <laughs>
and goals and what you want for your life. And then what you perceive as your vision is going to be what you achieve. Okay. Um, as, as the quote says there of, of Jack Canfield, our job is not to figure out the how, the how will show up out of the commitment and believe and belief in the what. So have that vision. <clears throat> Excuse me. We want to create that vision and we want to have the right vision. Um, as on here, I'm going to use the, the being a speaker as I go out and I do um, trainings and I and and half day trainings, full day trainings, and that how do I vision myself? And the bottom one you'll see there, that would be like me looking at myself on stage, how you know how I look in that. That's not what it is. It's got to be like the top one there. You're in that moment. You're living it. You're feeling it. I'm looking at that audience. I'm feeling that audience. That's how I envision myself before I go into a venue. I envision myself going into an, uh, you know, and greeting these people, meeting them, and and that. So when you get into your vision of what your business or what your life looks at looks like, we want to do that. As if you're there, you're living it. Um, uh, the because what you what your vision and your goals are, and how you view your goals. We um, let's take goals for an instance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, with goals, we want to uh, uh, not just write down. This time of year, everybody's writing down their goals. So you write down the goal and then you put a date by it. I want to, let's come up with a number. Let's say I want to uh, have $10,000 in my savings by February 28th, 2017. So I'm going to give myself a little over a month to create $10,000. Now, you can't just go $10,000. Okay, I'm going to read that. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to read it. What would that be like? What would that envision for you? Now, let's think, what do you have to do to make that $10,000? What do you have to do to create that $10,000? That's where your mind's going to start going. You know, is it going to be um, working another? And for some people, that's going to be like so far out there. And for other people, it's going to be like, okay, that's what I normally make in a month. So it's all, you know, it's all perspective and that vision. And when you think about that, when you go that if you've never made more than, let's just go to the other extreme. If you've never made more than $1,000 in a month, $10,000 seems overwhelming. And then feel that if, you know, wherever you're at, feel what that feels like. If you, you know, envision in your mind, you only make $1,000 a month and then $10,000 seems so overwhelming that you, you um, will, will uh, you know, you get that feeling, that anxiety, that angst that's within there. And um, then that's going to be what you uh, inquire or that's what you're going to uh, grow within yourself. Um, so that's where, that's where we always say what you, what you perceive your visions are is going to be what you achieve within there. I hope that makes sense. Uh, looking on there. Hi, Ember. How are you doing? I see a few people coming on here. Sorry that I started late. Normally I get these going at about 20 after. Um, I apologize to those that were tuning in and, and um, had to go or just was not in the... The groove of it. So, um, so I apologize. Hi, Janet. How's it going there? All right, Diane. Thanks for coming on board. Um, so what we want to work on is how your vision is and where your um, where how how you're developing that vision. So if you haven't done this before. If you haven't envisioned it, 
um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you want to um, start out as if you're in that event, okay? So as I was saying before with the money, you want to create um, one that give one resonates within you and creates a positive feeling, and then that's going to create the the how. The how is going to come about, okay? And I'm not saying you sit around and just go, um, I want $10,000. You don't do that. You have to think of how that, I mean, the how is going to come about, but you got to think, you got to be open to those ideas that are going to come to you. I'm going to guarantee you, you can do this. If someone took one of your loved ones, tied them to a chair, and put a bomb in front of them and said, and this is, sounds horrific to some degree, but if you're pressured by that and, and they said, you have to come up with $10,000 by February 28th, you would find a way to find $10,000. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. It will happen. So that's how you, you trigger those events. I know it's a sad thought. It's a sad thought. I'm going to go to an extreme to just make you think that way. But if you if the pressure is there, you're not going to dilly-dally around. You're not going to come up with little ideas of, I could sell all my shoes that are in my closet. You're going to come up with great, grandiose ideas of how you can create that money. It's going to happen. So now let's go with your business. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing this uh, out to your friends. I appreciate that. Um, take it to the next level as far as your business goes. If you set that goal and just said, I'm going to sell X amount of widgets by February 28th, and you just sat there and goes, okay, now how can I do that? I have a little over one month that I'm going to be able to create or sell those widgets, um, whether it's clothing, whether it's car parts, whatever it is, whether it's a book, could be a book. How are you going to do that? What are you going to do every day that's going to create that? And once you open up your mind to that, it's going to, uh, you're going to, all of a sudden the hows are going to come to you. Um, if you had a book, okay, I'm going to send out examples of uh, the first two chapters or first three chapters of my book to every newspaper, every uh, uh, radio station. I'm going to send out um, uh, excerpts of it to different all these different venues i'm going to do three a day i'm going to do five a day i'm just you know and after you do the first few you're going to be like okay i can copy and paste and copy and paste and copy and paste and send this stuff out so if you have a book let's say for for instance you're just going to keep hammering that out to people because eventually someone's going to be like you know what um it could be a last minute deal that all of a sudden hey my guest didn't can't make it. They have the flu. They have the uh, bad cold like it's going around right now. And they're going to say, hey, can you can you be on in a half hour to talk about your book? We got your excerpt the other day. Can you do that? Then you've got to be open to it. OK, so now the how is all of a sudden coming to you, as Jack will refer to on that. Um, so that's going to come about. But. You have to start with that goal, that vision, as if you're there already and you're ex succeeding in those breakthroughs. That's one facet that uh, we teach or I coach people on. And there's different levels that you can um, attain to with that. But that's going to be the one of the first things. Um, the very first thing is you're responsible for everything that happens to you from this point forward. You were already in the past, but we're not going to worry about the past. We're going to talk about the future. So the future is you're responsible for everything that takes place in your life from this day forward. If you have, if you're tomorrow, you get in your car and you're in a car accident. That's your responsibility. Ooh, that hurt, huh? Now you, now I'm getting some people all fired up and they're like ready to point fingers at me and say, come on, that other person hit me or something of that sort. True, but there's, you're not a victim. You're not a victim in this life. You're a proactive, responsible person. You're forethinking. You're going to be out there. If it's, if it's 
you know, uh, everything that happens to you, good, bad, and indifferent, are going to be your responsibility. And take 100% responsibility for that. That's the number one lesson that Jack Canfield has in his success principles over there. Okay, you see that book over there? That's the success principles. I, we go through that. Um, it, it's a long, long book. And what the best thing you can do is if you're going to pick that up, and I suggest you highly do pick that up and go through it, um, it's probably the... If you master that book, you will master your life, definitely. But you're responsible for everything. So tomorrow morning, tonight you're going to go to sleep. You're going to make your list of the things you want to accomplish tomorrow, right? You do that the night before. And you're going to, um, at that point, you're going to start dreaming about those things and how you can accomplish those tasks, okay? Um this coming weekend, I'm going to do a laborious ta task. Um, Amber and I are going to be ripping apart our kitchen and putting in our new cabinets. Have I ever done that before? Kind of. I took out the cabinets that are in there when we got the flooring done and put them back in. So I kind of have a taste and a flavor for it. But have I ever done it as a profession? No. Can I do it? Of course I can. You, what I do is you go on YouTube, you go on however you learn. You can read a book on it. You can go on YouTube. You can watch the Do It Yourself channel or whatever those channels are, the uh, HGTV. And you can watch all those shows and get inspired and do that. But um, we, we bought the cabinets. They are in our garage awaiting us to do that. And so we're prepping everything this week to do it. Now, what was the vision that we had? Let's go with that one. So we had a vision of what we wanted uh, for our kitchen. And so then we searched and we went, okay, what's within our price range? We, we have this big vision of what we want. Now let's see if we can find something within our price range. And we've had all, we had all different degrees of prices on that. So, and then you know, we fine tuned it. We, you know, are we going to do a different countertop? How are we going to do this? Things of different sort. Picked it all out, got it. And now this weekend, we're going to install it. And will we make a few mistakes along the way? I'll bet you I do. I'll bet you I do. But you know who's responsible for those mistakes? I am. Yes. And I know that. So if there's going to be a little oops or something like that, hopefully we thought it all through. We're planning it out. We're taking our time. We're planning it out. We're not just going to rush through and get this and, you know, put everything in there. We're planning it all out, and um, we're going to go from there. And it's I think it's going to work out great. I think it's going to be excellent. And by the way, I want to uh, do a shout-out to Ember. It is her birthday today. She is gracious enough to let me continue on because it's a Tuesday. Continue on and, and do the show tonight. And um, we didn't get to Periscope, as I said. I'm so sad about that. Um, but happy birthday to Ember. Happy birthday. We will we will have our, our fun and frolic after the show. There you go. But happy birthday to Ember tonight. Um, so when you go, when you start with your vision, fine tune it, go in bigger, get it crystal clear. It's just like the camera that I'm talking into now. I can go with a, a camera that's going to be fuzzy, more pixeled, not going to do as well, or I can go with a better quality camera uh, or the best quality that I could, um, afford at this moment in time uh or will do for these facebook um these facebook videos the, the live videos are going to be a little bit less quality than some of the other videos are out there but i i want to put a realistic view out there also of um of uh what it is really you can get um the the bigger vision could be for something more vibrant, more intense, something of that sort. And I think those are fine for some people, but um, I like to give it a little bit more of a realistic view. 
because that's that's who I'm trying to help are the people that are out there. So um, starting their businesses and going forth. So now let's get back to your vision. Let's get crystal clear on your vision as if you are there at the moment. And I'm going to go back to these pictures here. We want to uh, be like the one up on top. You want to, you want to, be as if you're in that moment. You're out there. You're speaking to those people. You're being introduced. I'm being introduced by by George here. And he's saying, welcome, everyone. And please give a round of applause for Dave Stelma, who is going to come in here today and teach us some success principles and how we can put that into our lives. And then... That's me. That's me walking out on stage versus the one on below where we uh, I'm looking at it from an outside point of view and going, OK, there's Dave Stelma going to walk out on stage. That's not how you do it. It's if you're in that moment. Envision that. Envision doing well at where you're at, whether you're working for someone else or whether you're creating your business. Um Envision going there and enjoying every day and, and and creating that. It will create itself. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of a, a homework assignment. We're getting down to the last few minutes. I want to give you a homework assignment for next week. We're going to write down those five items we want to create. I'm going to be creating um, or helping people succeed and successfully create 100 jobs this year. It's in my goals. That's my goal. By December 31st, 2017, I'm going to help 100 people create their dream business. You may be one of them. Um, it depends upon where you're at. Now, we have three different levels that I work with. One is going to be those people that um, don't have an idea, they have or vague idea, they know they like to do a certain couple of things and things like that, but they don't have a defined idea yet of what their business is going to be like. Um, they may have tested the waters in a couple of things and they know what they don't or what they're not going to be able to do. There, I'll give you a great example. Um, there could be people that want to always own a bar. Hey, I think it'd be so much fun to own a bar. And then I always tell them, well, did you ever did you ever work at a bar? Did you ever serve people? Did you ever, you know, bartend? No, but I just I think it'd be so much fun to work in a bar. Okay, well then I want you to go and work part time at a bar for like one month. If you'll find somebody that will volunteer to have you work for one month, right? So go and do that. And sometimes I'll say most of the times. They'll come back and go, yeah, that's not my dream. That's not my dream. I'm talking to the guy and, or gal that owns the, the, the bar, and they're telling me how they got to be there in the morning. They're there till you know, 11, 12, mid, you know, midnight or whatever before they go home. They get a few hours sleep. They come back. They have to pay someone to do it. You know, all of a sudden, the reality of it comes in. It's not you know, like you walk in there. And just enjoy, you know, greeting people and walking away. That can happen after you're successful, but you're going to have to get through that period. So it could be that level one is going to be people that don't quite have that idea yet. Um, this is going to be where we work through it. We're going to do a few different back and forth um, tests. We're going to do or not tests but quizzing each other. Um, I'm going to quiz you on different things to get that, pull that information out of you. We're going to fine tune it. And that's also going to be someone that doesn't have a business plan at all. Level two is going to be, you have a defined idea, you know what your passion is, and you may have parts of a business plan or you, it's like the business plan is in your head. It's just not down on paper. Um, that's going to be level two. And then we're going to work through it. We're going to get a defined vision. We're going to get that picture just focused in and everything. That's level two. Level three is you have a, a business already, semi-successful or successful, and you just want to take it to the next level. What's the next thing that I need to do? So 
your homework is I would like for you to help me find those, at least of some of those people, those 100 people that are going to create their business. It could be you, could be you already, um, but I want you to write down five people that you know that might find this helpful, that they want to grow, they want to either start their business, they know that they have a calling, they don't know what it is, it could be all different, le- though, any one of those three levels, or they're already successful and they're like, man, I wish I knew how to take it to the next level. That's what, and it's not going to be just, let's, you know, uh, dream a dream or something of that sort. This is going to be one-on-one coaching, and we're going to take 100 people, and we're going to bring them to the next level to start their business. So I my homework for you is going to be write down that list of five people and then come back to either the Facebook and leave me a message. Put me a little comment after this video. On the bottom of this video, you're going to have a comment section. Put a comment section and say, you know, uh, you know, don't give me a list of people, but have a con- give me a comment of you know, um, uh, email me, whatever it is, um, or just email me at support at davestelma.com, davestelma, S-T-E-L-M-A-M-A.com, um, davestelma.com. You could go support at davestelma.com and um, either send me an email, quick email. It could be you. It could be uh, friends of yours. It could be people that you know that have businesses. And um, give me a a cold introduction, and I will take it from there because I I, I want – and one, we're going to go through an introductory process because I want to make sure that uh, we're the right fit and and that it's something that you, you or that person really want to do, okay? So email me with those or leave me a comment or uh, PM me, private message me via Facebook uh, or on YouTube. You can also subscribe and leave me a comment on YouTube uh, on the video there. Um, It's going to be Dave Stelma everywhere. It's Dave Stelma on Facebook. It's Dave Stelma on YouTube. Or you can just go to the website, davestelma.com, and you can find me there. You'll find a link there that you can do it. And um, also... On the very front homepage on datestelma.com, get um, go on there if you if you want a little bit of inspiration, um, go on there and download. I uh, I have a poem on there that's right on the homepage um, that uh, came to me. There's a you'll you'll read about it. That's on there, but um, it's an inspiring poem that um, I wrote, and I feel that you. Uh, you ever need a little bit of inspiration um go on there and and either read it or download it and um thank you so i want to say thank you thanks for coming here every week and um for those that don't know go and find me on all those three different ways at this point next week we will be on periscope i will get that running so you can go into periscope and find me as well as um as on facebook here so until next week i see that our time is up and um until next week um be well and uh enjoy life and smile every day and um know that uh life is good out there and we're gonna just have great breakthrough success in 2017 till next week this is dave stelma have a great week um email me let me know comment whatever it is good bad or indifferent just throw a comment on below this video and let me know and if there's any questions along the way let me know what those are so i can answer those for you Till next week, Dave Stelma, have a great week.